Hello everyone, welcome to TCM, I'm Alicia Malone and tonight's programming is dedicated to the one and only our friend and master filmmaker Martin Scorsese. This Thursday, November 17, is Martin Scorsese's birthday and to celebrate we've handed him the reins to choose our lineup. So Scorsese has handpicked three films for us to watch and also wrote us a note saying, these are pictures that I saw when I was just starting and that left their mark on me. They opened my sense of what was possible in cinema. This is exciting. So let's get started with the first of his choices, Ashes and Diamonds from Poland in 1958, directed by Andrzej Wajda. He was one of the central figures in the Polish New Wave, a time of creative freedom in Polish cinema during the 1950s and 60s, when censorship restrictions were beginning to relax, a state film school opened up, and several directors made work that captured the attention of critics and audiences around the world. This screenplay is based on the novel by Jerzy Andrzejewski, and the story takes place over one day at the end of World War II. Poland's Communist Party was growing, resistance groups were fighting, and in the middle of it is an assassin, charged with killing a communist official played by Zbigniew Cebulski. Martin Scorsese first saw Ashes and Diamonds when he was a student at New York University, and it had a profound effect on him. Explaining why he chose this film for tonight's lineup, he wrote, The last and most powerful in Andrzej Wajda's trilogy of war films, it had the stark immediacy of the Italian neorealist films, but it was also a hallucinatory journey into hell. Right from the start, when a group of guerrilla fighters murder the wrong man on the last day of World War II, the picture unfolds like a vivid nightmare. From 1958, buckle in for Ashes and Diamonds. <laughs> 